I was gonna post this image to Instagram, but then I decided to remove this, move out these things, get rid of those things, and boom. What a shot. Wait, is this okay to do? Shouldn't I be more authentic with my posts? Uh, aren't I lying to people by editing an image this much? They're gonna think I'm a, a, a fraud. <laughs> Thoughts like this have crossed my mind in varying instances throughout my 10 years as a creative, and they still don't go away. I remember when color grading my first music video in film school and realizing in the software how much you could actually do to tweak and manipulate the image. It kind of made me feel a little dirty or like I was cheating because I I felt like I'd screwed up in some way having to do all of this work to make the image look close to what I envisioned in my head. As soon as you start getting into learning any creative skill, you'll realize how much power you actually have with this new knowledge. And that if you really wanted to, you could present yourself and or your creativity in ways that could be quite questionable. Ah, look at this filmmaker's Instagram. He looks busy all the time. When in reality, he's stressing about paying his bills because his phone hasn't rang with a new project in some time. But you can also use this same power in clever ways within your art to enhance the work itself. Wow, such amazing lighting on this shot. How the hell did he do it? When in reality, the light was right in front of him and he just removed it in post. Whether you realize it or not, creative manipulation like this is happening all of the time in front of your eyes. The billboard of that sexy lady advertising that new piece of tech. She's had some nerd sat at a computer photoshopping the crap out of her skin. Those beautifully presented Apple watches floating in the air at an angle that you're never gonna be looking at them from when you actually get your hands on it. Now, I don't think this kind of manipulation, you know, creative manipulation, marketing manipulation is inherently bad. The word manipulation is probably even the wrong word for it. Maybe creative tweaking is a better way to phrase it. I mean, if I buy that new fancy Apple watch, which I did because Apple did some good marketing on it. And I'm happy with my purchase because I feel it was worth the money that I parted with to get it. Then is this creative tweaking that Apple actually did really a bad thing? If someone looks at that photo that I spent 20 minutes Lightrooming, yes, that's a new verb, and they feel something from the vibe that I've crafted that they wouldn't have otherwise, then what's the issue here? Now, we ultimately can't control whether someone will or won't feel the way that we want them to from our creative output. Therefore, the only thing that we really can control is the intention that we're placing behind the art itself. If your intention for posting that artsy photo of you looking cool with your new camera was mainly about trying to get likes and comments because internally you feel pretty insecure about yourself, then I'd say that's a questionable intention and one that's unlikely to help you out in the long run, especially if you post it on the internet where you're opening yourself up to all of the haters. <laughs> My <laughs> sexy artistic camera shot is way better than yours. But if you posted a similar image alongside a silly, comedic, self-deprecating caption or a paragraph of you opening up in a vulnerable way because you're a bit curious if anybody else can relate to what's on your mind, then I'd say that these are examples of perfectly healthy intentions to have. My intentions with the photos that I Lightroomed the sh out of was to try to create a surreal, otherworldly environment that separate itself from the actual exhibition space that I shot them in, that anybody could just pay to go inside. But how many of those people would actually have the skills or even put the time into painting out elements from their iPhone images? Not many. So doing this would make my images stand out from all of the other Instagrammers going to the same spot. And if you still feel a bit weird about tweaking your images and videos, truth is, as soon as you point a camera at something, it's instantly being turned into something that was once objective into something that is now subjective. What are you doing? Stop! The question then becomes, how much of that reality do you want to tweak? Especially with AI tools like Photoshop's generative fill, the level of editing we're all going to be able to do is starting to get pretty insane in terms of how accessible it is and how unbelievably powerful it can be. I guess you have to decide on your own morals for how much or little you want to manipulate something. I've been guilty of removing a spot on my face for a YouTube thumbnail because I was a little bit self-conscious about it, but I also didn't want to have anything else in the design that would distract the viewer in some way. So. In my opinion, it was justified. For things like photography, my mindset is that I'll look at a cool scene that I stumble across. And before taking the shot, I'll start to edit out some elements in my head. Basically like I'm a photon Jesus, knowing that I can just delete a lamppost that's in the way or remove that couple that is in the background of my shot. All because I want to alter reality to represent a version of it that I wish existed in the moment. But I can't because of this man that's in the way again. Get out of the way, old man. In my opinion, a core element to creativity is manipulating reality 
reality in some way. And if you're not harming anyone or anything in doing so, and instead this helps to elevate the experience of what you're creating, then this is something that you should embrace rather than shying away from. I hope I freed up a little bit of guilt that you might have had about tweaking things that you put out into the world. You have my blessings. Go forth into ye old Lightroom and remove that man that photobombed. Don't give him any image space that he thought he deserved. Or do and make him look like a complete stupid idiot. <laughs> If you like life lessons slash creative pondering like this, you'll probably also enjoy this video over here where I share a few lessons about living life as a creative. Hit the subscribe button because if you don't, I'm gonna Photoshop your computer wallpaper with my face looking at you every time you log in. I'll be there watching you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.